everybody and welcome to the Sunday Report. It is Memorial Day weekend and uh, tomorrow is Monday. It'll be Memorial Day and don't forget the reason we're having Memorial Day. It ain't just for cooking out and fun. It's actually to honor those fallen soldiers and all of our troops that have gone by the wayside, died in a foreign country or, or over here in the United States or wherever, but that's what Memorial Day is all about. And I want to thank everybody that served in the armed forces for this service. I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, yesterday was, well, all week, but yesterday especially, we had like 40 mile an hour winds down here in South Georgia, and it was cold. I mean, the air, it was like, this morning is 59 degrees, so I got to tell you, yesterday it never did get no higher than probably the 70s or something, but with the wind blowing, and I mean blowing hard, the trees was doing that, it was crazy, and uh, we did get the hay bailed in the field, and it was funny, when we raked it up, the some of the wind rows actually shifted, you could see them walk from the wind blowing them, but they stayed in line and they didn't blow everywhere. That's what I was worried about. But we got all the hay up and got the bales up yesterday. The field looks pretty and green now. And uh, I've been cleaning my fence row off with my backhoe. I've uh, been working on that all week. And it's been a busy week. I've uh, got my light back on the guitar. I hope that helps you see. You know, the last video, the light wasn't on it. It wasn't in here. I had it in another room. So, uh, anyway, what we're going to do today is talk uh, a little bit about your bar movement again and uh, the, the styles of picking. And I'm going to play this tune in an open E for those that's just starting out. I'm going to put it down there and we're going to start at the B screen. It's an E, B, E, G sharp, B, and an E. I put the tuning right down here under the guitar. Just like Alright, so we got the tuning down and of course you can tune it in a C6 or a open D. I do got one tuned in an open D and it's the same tuning but just down a couple steps. But I like open E because open E it also the frets are the same if you was doing the F position on the neck of a guitar, then you would put a, your finger on the first fret and make your F shape. And then the next fret would be, of course, your G flat. And then your G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat and E. Then it starts over to another F. Alright, so that's the way your neck's laid out in this tuning. Alright, we're gonna start off with a we're gonna we're gonna do what I call a string pinch. And we're gonna start it F and go down to the G and it's gonna sound like this. This is something you need to practice. I'm pulling up on strings two and three at the same time with my finger and my pick. And then I'm moving the bar. Then I'm skipping over to strings three and four. It sounds like this. And then sometimes I'm playing that I'm skipping from strings one and three. And then hitting strings two and four. Then a D at the uh, tenth. All right. 
Yeah, so, if you notice. The bar is moving a lot. Now, as I always say, I call these two my what? What are they? That's right, dragging fingers, because I'm dragging them along on the strings. That way, when I lift up, it's the mute, or when I come down. I'm coming down with my fingers. I'm not doing this. That's what I call a string ringing syndrome. And it hurts the ear. See how I did that? One, two, three. Back. Up to the fifth fret, which is A. Then you do your skip. And then you can go. Same thing with the C. Now what I did then was I'm skipping the strings one and three. Then two and four. Back to the one and two, three. Then back to the G and hitting strings one and two, three. Another technique. I am raking across strings two, no strings three and two. Then picking up with my finger. I call that a type of a banjo roll, keeping the bar on the G. So what I did, I went to the tenth fret, which is your D, to the E at the twelfth, and then the F at the fourteenth. That's just kind of a turnaround style. Steel's a fun instrument, easy to learn to play. A little blue style, rock and roll. Drive on it and make that into a serious rock song. Just strumming the cross. Emphasize how easy it is and simple. But if you start learning your string sound, to 
the uh, B that time. Then I went to the B flat. Slid into the C. Go up to the D. Two and three. That a G didn't go to an A. Then visit the B by to the D. what you're going for, but I want to remember, try to stay straight over the top of your fret, not behind it, not above it, right on it. That's a good practice. Go from the G at the third fret, to the A at the fifth fret, to the seventh fret, which is a B, then to the eighth fret, which is a C. I call that whole step, whole step, half step. Try that again. See how I'm lit? do a pause like this. Open. No, let's go. Go from one to two. There we go. Fifth fret. Back to the third. Seven and eight on the second.
windshield wipers. And that's just bossing and depending on the song. And then you got the slant. Don't give up, don't quit. Get your amp cranked up, get you some good highs on it, and turn that reverb up. You hear mine? Memorial Day weekend. If you're off the mark, congratulations to you. I know I am. And uh, the mail won't run, the banks won't open, but uh, maybe you can get the grill fired up or something. Who knows? Uh, but remember, the reason for the holiday is to honor the veterans that didn't come back. All right. I hope every one of y'all stays safe and uh, don't know where you're at, but I hope you got good weather like we haven't. It. It's been a little bit dry. I had to water the garden yesterday, but we got terrible, terrible wind blowing. And also, uh, the good thing about it is it keeps the gnats away. Down here in the south, Georgia, we have little black gnats, a little like pepper that tries to get in your ears, your eyes, and your nose. And they just swarm you. Well, with the wind blowing, they, they don't because they their wings is so tiny they just blow away so uh, hopefully they blow down the ocean somewhere and the fish eat them y'all have a great week now and come back and see me and thank everybody on facebook and youtube